Hey everyone, I hope that you're all super well. As you'll be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, this video is a Durham University bucket list. Basically, I compiled this list together of loads of things that you can do and like set yourself a challenge to do before you graduate if you're going to Durham. Like you might already be at Durham, you might have already been to Durham, but like it'll be fun to see what things you did. I didn't do everything on this list. So many people won't do anything on this list. It's not a bad thing if you don't do anything here, but like if you're looking for like a kind of challenge to set yourself of things that might be fun to do with your friends or like on your own or whatever, then this is the video for you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the sound of this video, subscribe if you're new here. Also leave any comments if there's any sort of Durham videos or any other type of video that you want me to do and let's get on with the rest of the video. You can bet that I actually wrote all these things down in the list by the way, because like obviously I had to do that. So the first thing on the list is go to a formal. That is a super basic one and I would highly recommend that anyone who goes to Durham does go to a formal at some point because why wouldn't you? I don't see why you would go and not experience that kind of thing because that's the kind of thing that universities like Durham, Cambridge, Oxford are known for. I would recommend going to a formal. It's a nice place to like hang out with your friends, maybe make some new friends. You could also take your parents to them or like friends from home. But yes, going to a formal is definitely on the top of the Durham University bucket list. Leading on from that, I would say people also challenge themselves to go to a formal at every single college. This is probably not totally doable. I didn't go to a formal at every single college. I've been in every single college, I think, except for the ones that were like previously Stockton campuses, but they're like merged now. And also there's new colleges now, which I hadn't been to, haven't been to, probably won't go to, because uh, I'm not a student anymore. But yeah, going to a formal at every single college is also a challenge that people sometimes set for themselves. I don't know how many people have managed to do that, but if you are part of societies, then they tend to do events at different colleges so that might make it more possible but it'd be definitely a very fun thing to do because every college does things a little bit differently they all have a different vibe um, I've done videos about them and the colleges and so on so you can get a feel for them in those sort of videos which I'll link down below if you want to know anything about a particular college do let me know as well in the comments um, but yeah going to a formal at each college Definitely something that like you could give a world to I don't see why you wouldn't if you have friends at different colleges I would definitely give that a try. Very, very similar to that is the bar crawl of every single college as well. More people do this than go to a formal at every college because obviously you don't have to like pay entry and like have this like lead up to it with like formals. Obviously you have like, you book them like a week in advance sometimes and stuff like that. And it's just a bit more formal. Whereas with a bar crawl, you can just go in basically as long as you have your Durham card. Although some colleges actually have nights where it's just like only people from that college um but yeah more people do a bar crawl of all the colleges than a formal at each college i didn't do all the colleges in like one night or anything but i probably have been to all of them why i don't have to drink i feel like i need to clarify that in these videos because even though this is about social things like definitely don't feel any pressure to do that it doesn't make you cool to do that like if you don't drink and you don't want to drink don't. I just want to put that out there. On the opposite side of the scale, something that people do, and I feel like they feel quite proud about this, is doing a library all-nighter. So this is when the library is open 24 hours, just before the summer, like when exam season is really like in full swing. And quite a few people do stay in the library like overnight and that's kind of a thing that I do think that they are quite proud of. I never did that because I didn't need to. I I also don't know if anyone actually needs to do that or if they're just doing that because they're like, you know, I could stay here all night. I have the caffeine energy to do that. If you do that, good for you. Hopefully it helps. Also, you don't need to feel like, oh my God, they're there all night. They have all this extra knowledge that I don't have because I've seen people's laptop screens in the library and they're literally on Facebook. So like, don't feel like bad if people do that and they say that to you. But like, that is something that people sometimes do do and also can do because the library is sometimes open for 24 hours in peak exam season. I didn't do that though. Another really cool bucket list thing is modeling in a fashion show. So I did like so many fashion shows, did do a lot of them as a performer, as a dancer. So I feel like people think that that's quite a big flex. It's also a big like beanock thing. I think that people quite enjoy it when they're in the Durham bubble. Also it'd be a big way to like big up your confidence if you don't already have that. Um, that might be a bit throwing yourself in the deep end, but to be honest, I would recommend like going for these sort of things. Another bucket list thing is watching the sunrise on Observatory Hill. So basically, this is when if you've been to a formal and you've been out all night, or if you have been to a ball and you stayed till the end or something like that, or even if it's just like you live near Observatory Hill, because everywhere in Durham is pretty close by, and you're like, I wanna watch the sunrise, then people often, put, it's like an Instagram stories kind of thing, wherein people will end their night 
in the morning by going to Observatory Hill and watching the sunrise. Basically it's because there's like a view of the cathedral. The cathedral looks tiny but still like a pre-graduation kind of thing that people just like to do. I think a lot of people do do that but obviously if you don't go to like formals and balls it's less likely that you'll do that. Also if you don't live in Durham less likely to do that. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do. Another thing to add to your list of things to do before you graduate at Durham is watching a Durham University match. So this can be like literally any sport because there's like loads of sports teams at Durham if that's rugby or football or whatever. But I do think that, that is quite a nice thing to do. Although I will put in a disclaimer that a lot of the time in the audience it will be guys and so just be careful and probably don't go on your own. I know that's such a terrible thing to have to say but like it's true. The crowd is not necessarily going to be nice or just putting that one out there if you do want to have this kind of thing on your like to-do list. So another bucket list thing to do whilst you're at Durham Uni is as I mentioned earlier a lot of the time with college balls they go on to like five o'clock in the morning or like half past five in the morning and at that time the college will take a survivor's photo so a lot of the time people like to stay until that time so they have evidence that you were like hard enough to stay out all night at this ball. I don't know how people necessarily have that stamina because <laughs> because balls can be like especially if it's like in a random location like in a random like manor house there isn't like so much stuff to do so unless they're like getting a bit tipsy and like just dancing the night away they don't necessarily have loads of things going on and also but I mean another reason why you might actually be in this fives photo is because the bus left at 12 and wasn't coming back till 5 so but that is another thing that people tend to do and like to flex about. And the final thing which is a really simple thing that I thought I'd add because like this is something that everyone can do and you don't have to do it but it might be a nice like memento is get some college stash, get some university stash, get some college stash, get your society stash that might be a really nice thing to look back on. I feel like this video was kind of a different one in the like Durham University vlog sphere because I haven't seen anyone do this and this is particularly like social things to do. Um, so obviously, like I said throughout this video, feel no pressure to do any of these things just because they might like sound cool or if like you know some people who've done them, it doesn't mean that it was like a great thing to do so please feel no pressure to do them. Some of the things I do think would be super fun though especially if they're gonna like help enhance your confidence or whatever like I said like the modeling or like watching the sunrise on Observatory Hill would also be like a really beautiful thing to witness with some friends um, but yeah like I said feel no pressure to do any of these things but if you also have like some different ideas make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, I hope that you have an amazing time at Durham if you've just got a place this year um, or if you're already a student there I I hope you're having a great time. Feel free, as I've already said so many times, to just drop me a comment if you want to ask me about anything about my time there or like things that you might want to do whilst you're there. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I've also linked all my like socials and stuff in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Bye!